Yo, what's up? Today we're farming the treasure room, and this basically will be a tutorial on how to do this. Um, so what you want to do is come to Oasis and enter the Leviathan layer. I'm sure you can all figure out how to do this. Once you're in this layer, look to your left and go towards this path right here. And you can see I have my Infinity Pistol. It's actually a level 8 version, which is really terrible. But once you get to this cavern here, you just want to make your way down and enter the layer itself. As you will see here, this is where you fight the Leviathan in Captain Scarlet's DLC. And uh, the, the Leviathan is actually still there. The developer just never got rid of it. They only made the body invisible, and that is why you can exploit his body by uh, climbing on top of it and going towards this area right there and re-entering the treasure room to farm for legendary weapons. And right now I'm using an infinity pistol which I farmed off Doc Mercy on playthrough 1. That is because I read on somewhere that apparently Doc Mercy's uh, loot table is flawed or it's bugged on playthrough 2.5 and that he will never drop the infinity pistol no matter what so after various testing uh, apparently he can only drop the infinity pistol in playthrough 1 so all those people who uh, got the infinity pistol at level 50 did it before a certain patch or they're lying and they're just up to no good. So this is how you do the treasure room glitch. And I, what you need to do is look towards this ledge right here. Basically the door of the uh, treasure room. When you first get here, you'll see this ledge. You'll see this uh, tip of the rock. That's where you want to go from. So what you need to do is you just run off this cliff. And then you'll be on uh, the Leviathan. You can see here you're actually in midair but that's not true because you're actually standing on the dead body it's just not there so what you need to do is just run towards this entrance here you know just run towards it uh, keep a straight path because otherwise you'll fall off and once you reach this rock right here you want to be directly on top of it and facing the uh, entrance itself don't go towards the entrance though because it's not gonna open what you need to do is look to the left, you will see these two rocks here. Put your cursor on the second rock, on the bottom rock, and just run towards it. And that's all you need to do, run toward it, go straight. And once, you, you should run to an invisible wall, like I am here. That means, uh, when you reach the invisible wall, just go left. Uh, don't do anything, don't press any buttons, just go left. And you'll hit another invisible wall. So now you're trapped in a corner, and that's what you want. Now here's a tricky part. What you want to do is you want to look down and turn. Don't move, just turn and line up your cursor on this rock right here, you know. And now you just want to move forward and hit jump. Just spam and hit jump. Now once you see that, you see that how you just hovered up and now you're uh you can see the black spot in the distance there. That means you're in uh, that means you climbed up a few feet and you can see this is where you entered in the first place so now what you want to do is you don't want to press any buttons except for jump you just want to hit jump just keep going up and uh, as I was saying I actually this is the level 8 infinity pistol and it's got a microwave on top of it so it looks like shit and it's basically useless because it's level 8, but I'm going to give it to whatever starting character. Hopefully, maybe I'll give it to the the new character, the new DLC character that's coming out, the cycle. And uh, that level 8 pistol is going to last until like level 20 at least. Because that's how powerful it is. But I really want to find a level 50 version or a level 61 version, hopefully, one day. So, it just keeps hitting jump and... Once you reach the top of wherever this is, you realize that you can't go up anymore. This is where you are, right? You're on top of the world. And you want to face this piece of rock right here. This is where you want to be looking at. And now you just want to run toward it. 
Okay, you want to run toward it until the bottom edge of the rock is actually lined up with where it says your class mod or your level. So just keep running uh, up to this point right here. Stop. I went over a bit, but that's okay. Just this is the general area. This is the general area you want to be facing this rock. And now you want to turn right and face the where the treasure room, the entrance of the treasure room is. And you'll see this ledge right here. Uh, this spot right here is where I like to go to. But you don't want to head straight for that. You want to actually just go straight. So just run straight. And then you actually drop like this. So what you need to do is just move and try to hit this ledge. Or else you'll just fall off. And then you have to restart, which is a hassle. But once you're on this ledge right here, you want to face this piece of rock right here this purple piece of rock and just go towards it and then you will be inside the treasure room and you'll see this ledge right here don't go towards this part because then you will be stuck and then you have to restart but go towards this ledge and then you see the treasure room right there see those chests all just waiting to be opened that's where you want to be so you just jump off into the chamber of the lost treasure and now this is the easiest and the most efficient way efficient route to loot all the chests so this is what you do you go towards the right where you came in you see this uh, bridge right here you take it and then you just follow the path I'm taking jump on these rocks and uh, yeah just follow what I'm doing right now because this is the fastest way to get to the chests on top so you just keep jumping on the rocks and now you're on the top so now you just open these chests and hope for a legendary. Not that legendaries matter right now at all because the level cap is being raised and level 50 weapons won't matter at all. But uh, you'll also get a lot of e tag weapons from this way which is really fun because you usually can't find e tag weapons uh, anywhere. They're, they're actually just as hard to drop as some of the legendaries which is ridiculous but you'll see here I got a purple it's a it's a doll sniper rifle which is the worst thing possible but anyways just open make sure you open all the chests because I actually got my legendary hunter mod from one of these red chests which is the supposedly less valuable chest that drops you know the green and the blue loot but I got legendaries off these chests and I've got legendaries from these chests, so you just want to open all of them. And, you know, don't skip any ahead. And now, see, I didn't get anything valuable this time, but that happens. So now, what you want to do is look at your mini map right there. You see that? You see how this is where you want to face. You want to face this part right here where you see these two things, and uh, you want to have the north on your map be in the bottom right corner that's where you want to be and now you just want to jump off don't jump all the way off you'll see here that there's the entrance right there and that's where the last treasure chest will be it's a hidden one supposedly so you open that and you'll get all blue weapons because fuck shit anyways I didn't get any legendaries not that I care anymore but uh, I'll just be waiting for the new DLC to come out and get that and possibly play as a new DLC character I will definitely try to level the assassin to level 61 because that is in, that is awesome that means I will have the uh, the last tier scale for two two uh, skill trees so I'll be able to use kunai's and I'll be able to string together my deception so that's gonna be very powerful but uh, basically all my loot, if the level cap does get raised, will be useless because every weapon I have is level 50 and I spend a good amount of time farming for them. So basically everyone anywhere with all the with all the legendary root that they spent hours farming will be made useless. So it's kind of waste, but... I am excited for the new level cap. I am excited for the new DLC. Um, I'm also really ecstatic to find per, uh, pearl lesson weapons, which is supposedly more rare than legendaries. 
So I don't know how they're gonna, you know, have a way to make it available in the game. I hope you don't have to farm like twice as much as for legendaries to obtain those weapons because that would just take forever. I hope there's like challenges, really difficult challenges, kind of like Seraph weapon almost where you had to get Seraph crystals. You just have to like do kill really hard bosses to get pearlescent weapons. I really hope that's the case because I don't want to spend hours just farming one 